एवरीथिंग फाइन चलो गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट्स वी आर बैक इन फैक्ट फर्स्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई रिग्रेट to the inconvenience caused yesterday because some uncontrollable situation has come in the last minute so i couldn't do any alternate arrangements uh, but anyhow uh, whatever uh, we have planned in the three day sessions definitely we'll be covering today and tomorrow also okay fine now uh before i start uh is there anyone uh, in today's session who have not attended the first class the day before yesterday session just they can raise their hand or just they can say yes no something yes i guess i hope that everyone uh, today are there in my first class so believing that i am continuing to my today's session okay <coughs> fine <coughs> yeah in between i want some responses otherwise i feel that two you people uh, have gone into hibernant position okay fine so just say hi yes any doubts you have you can stop me raise your hand okay so it should be more interactive okay fine so let me share my screen fine uh you are all able to see my screen yes sir good chalo uh so in the first uh, day uh, we have seen uh, we have discussed in fact uh, uh, what is excel and then why ms excel and uh, what are the advantages of ms excel and in the last 10 minutes of the session uh, we have seen how the interface of uh, uh, ms excel looks like and uh, we have discussed few uh, areas or topics in ms excel okay so with that uh, i'll continue the session okay fine so in the first day session uh, we have discussed that uh, how uh, big uh, the excel can store like the huge data the voluminous of data we can store in the ms excel so we have so many number of rows and so many number of columns i guess you people must have definitely remembered the number of rows and columns 10000 40 10 48 000 576 rows and 16384 columns and rows are identified with numbers and then columns are identified with alphabets and a combination of a row and a column is a cell and a cell will be having a name of both row uh, sorry a column name and row number okay so uh, that is what we have discussed so the moment you open ms excel uh, the very first time by default you will see uh, can anyone tell me exactly what is the currently the cell got selected anyone a1 a1, a1. exactly a1. a1 that is what we called as anyone what is it called as cell i know what is that cell A one is what? A one is called. Rows and cells are called. Sorry. Combination of rows and cells are called. Uh, rows and columns are called cells. Cell understood. What you have given a name called as A one. What is that? A one is called as. Already we have discussed it's that. Called cell reference. Exactly. Cell address or cell reference. Exactly. So that's what we call as cell reference. And now, I think already I got an answer. The moment I open. the ms excel the by default you see a1 is get sel got selected and how you identify that that a1 cell is selected or is identified having a dark border cell so that is by default got selected and that is what we called as active cell so someone already already got that uh, he has given the answer active cell i think uh, tarun reddy has given the answer good okay uh, now by default is a1 now i can select any cell of my own by default it is a1 but if i select this this is called as g6 if i select this this is called as j9 and this is if this is called as g14 this is called as q11 the cell which is currently selected is called as an active cell why because we have selected to do something with that cell maybe i may i may enter the data into that cell or i may enter a formula into that cell because that is now currently selected by the user it is called as an active cell but yeah. by default a1 will be the active cell later on whatever the cell you have selected will be an active cell got it fine now so we have seen uh, sheet 1 and you can add any number of sheets to your uh, workbook and remember the file extension the file type 
of an Excel workbook is dot XLSX. Why I am saying this is this is very important. This is very very important. Those are called as file extensions, or also called as file types. So what are these file extensions and file types? For example, you must uh, be doing something in your Excel, and later on at the end of the day, you must be saving that file. And once you give that name to your file, that this is what I call as book one. I think you can see on my screen where my mouse is hovering. Book one, and then the name what you have given will be seen there. Okay. But the same name you must have given to different files. Can, can I give same name to different files? Yes or no? Anyone? Same file, same no, name. No, sir. No? no sure? Sir. Sure? 100%? Yes, sir. Can you lock your answer? Yes, I, sir. I can give, but not to the same file type. That is very important. I can give the same name to a Word file. I can give a same name to a PowerPoint file. I can give a same name to Excel file. I can give a same name to a notepad. I can give a same name to any video file, audio file, any file. So, yes, yeah. as long as if it is not the same file type, you cannot give the same name. But if the file type is different, you can give the same. That's why I'm saying file type is very important. So how you identify the files with that extensions? A Word file will have a .docx. A PowerPoint file will have .pptx. A file, an Excel file will have .xlsx. You understood that? I think people are taking some notes, okay? So these are called as file extensions are called as file types, okay? You may not give, you, you, you need not to give the file extension. Just you give the name. System will understand what type of file it is and then it will add the extension on its own and will be saved, okay? So you the file name will be Subhash only. But for system to understand in the background, it will store as a .xlsx files. You got it? Fine. So that is what is called as file extension or file. Name. Now coming back to this file, this is what is an interface or Excel, and these are called as home men uh, menus, home, insert, page layout, formulas, data, review, view, and so on. So, and as I said in the last class, uh, with my 21 years of experience, I say, irrespective of whatever the domain you are working, uh, okay, whether it is sales or marketing or finance or HR or operations, what may be, okay. Uh, Excel is something which definitely you have to use or will you be using. Okay. So um, I, I still remember every time I ask my students, uh, they go to Deloitte company, they go to Accenture, they go to big, big, big brand companies. Uh, and the very first round to filter on the candidates is the, the Excel exam. Okay. And some of the interview questions are like this. What is the file extension type of Excel? What is the cell address? How you identify a cell? All this will be some of the basic, basic questions you'll be asking. You will be coming across when you go to the interview. Okay. Fine. Now, uh, yeah, uh, I think I have seen you last day, uh, last time. I can enter anything in my Excel. Okay. So I can enter a text. I can enter some numbers. I can enter some characters. I can enter some images. What not? It can be anything. Okay. Now, uh, a simple thing. Okay. Maybe most of you must have definitely. Uh, uh, have uh, uh, said to the last class itself that they already have exposed to MS Excel. They have some fair idea in MS Excel, but people who don't have any rough idea, any idea, this is for them. Okay. So this is, I'm, I'm preparing a, a table with a serial number and then uh, uh, name of the student and then, uh, okay. And some, some, this, that's it. Some, I want to give some, or I want to give some, uh, uh, enrollment number, okay? So I want to give some enrollment number or hall ticket number, whatever it is, okay? So this is what uh, I want to add to my Excel sheet or I want to prepare some table with that, okay? Now, my question is, uh, there are 20 students. So what is serial number? Serial number starts with one and then two and then three and so on and so on. So I have to give, have to give till 20 numbers. So no, not required. So Excel will uh, help you in filling these numbers automatically. So how to fill the numbers till 20? If not 20, till 10 lakhs also I can fill. How to fill that, okay? Now the answer is that if you want to fill the series, this is called as fill the series. 
maybe when you write a cat exam or mat exam or any other arithmetic exams some of the questions you will be facing that 2 comma 4 comma 6 comma 8 comma what's the next number okay so this kind of questions definitely you will be finding you will be coming across those are called as fill the series so i want to fill the series so for to fill the series i will give first two numbers 1 and 2 1 and 2 then what you have to do select those two cells i think you are observing what i am doing you select yes. those two cells once you select those two, how to select those two cells? Just select and then drag it. The moment you drag, those two cells got selected. And if you see my mouse pointer, my mouse pointer looks like a doctor plus symbol. This is generally called as doctor's plus symbol. The moment I keep my mouse cursor on the rightmost bottom part of my cell, now you can see a plus symbol. That symbol, that cursor is now converted like a plus symbol. Now you see normal symbol, you can see. And uh, you, you, you keep this mouse portion in any of this uh, portion, it will be different. But when you keep in the rightmost bottom, then only you can see this plus symbol. Uh, when you see that, uh, click, drag. That's it. Simple. You got that number. This is what we call as filler series. So you can drag till what number you want. Okay. Now, if you observe what I said, I said that first you have to fill the first two numbers. Okay. So if I am not filling the first two numbers, what happens? For example, I fill, I, I gave only one number and I selected that cell. I selected that cell. Now you can see the plus symbol is there. The plus symbol, drag. What happens? The same number is getting repeated. The same number is getting filled. But I don't want that. I want a number 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 7. So for that, what you have to do? First two numbers you have to enter, 5 and 6. Now select those two numbers. And then drag. Now you can see that. Now, can anyone tell me the logic behind this uh, filling the series? Anyone? Can anyone tell me the logic behind the series? Yeah, I want uh, people to be active. How this series got filled? Anyone? Just say yes or no. Say yes or no, or you can just put a chat. Sir, it should know uh, on what formula base the uh, remaining numbers or remaining data should be filled. Uh, who is this speaking? Shruti, sir. Shruti. Shruti, there is no formula involved here. There's, there is only logic behind that. That only, sir, on what logic or... If he entered one text or data, okay. we don't have the remaining what it should be or character or number. If you enter two or three more data, then it will understand on which base it the remaining the data should be filled or logic. I, I understood, but what is the logic that series is filled? Okay, now I'll give one more number. Okay, chalo, I will give one more number. Now I am giving four and eight. What will be the next number uh, if I select these two numbers and drag it? What do you find? Can anyone tell me what will be the next number, next number, next number? Next number will be 12, sir. Okay. Okay. Good. So what is the logic behind that? Means the difference between two, those numbers is four, no, sir? Exactly. That is what is that. The logic behind the series is the difference between the second number and the first number. Or the first number between the second number. So the third number should be the difference of the third number and second number as of the second number of first number. So first second number to first number is a four. So the same four will be continued to next number and it continue to next number. That's what you see. That's why you can see four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, and so on. That is the logic behind that. Now let me give one more example. Six and two, six and two. So what will be the next number? Anyone? Uh, minus two. Exactly, minus two. Next what is, next what? Then minus six. Exactly. So here the minus difference six. is not four, it is minus four. So two minus six is minus four. So the next number should be in such a way that that number minus the previous number difference should be minus four. So Excel thinks like that and then fill the series automatically. So now you no need to uh, make your brains uh, harm. Okay. So once you got the fill the series, put it in Excel, drag it. First two numbers are very important. Okay. Now, now, 
can i use alpha numeric uh, lalita sri can you switch off your video you are just roaming your room and then everyone can be able to see you lalita sri ah thank you now can i use alpha numeric number alpha numeric number list for example uh, tsp 01 and tsp 02 now can i fill the series can i fill the series yes sir what will be the next number uh t r t s 0 3 okay good excellent it sees the right most significant number i'm using a word called as right most significant number if that is the number if the right most significant value or digit is a number it takes the difference if the same thing if i write 0 1 t s t and 0 2 t s t will it take will it take yes sir what will, what will be the number what will be the result 03 tst 03 tst 03 tst no i am sorry it is not happening why because as i said the right most significant digit should be a numbers then only the difference will be taken okay it will not take t minus t t minus t t minus t because it has taken as a text this is called as a text you understand so the right most significant values should be numbers then only those difference between two numbers will be taken okay you got it any, any doubts you have no sir fine no, no sir okay no, sir. now <laughs> i will fill the enrollment numbers also for your understanding so let my enrollment number is uh, uh, pgdm hyphen 001 and pgdm hyphen 002 so this is my series of enrollment numbers then i can automatically fill the remaining series fine now this is called as fill the series fill the series and the logic is if there is a number then uh, uh, what you call uh, the difference between the second number and the first number will be taken as the uh, the, the difference and the same difference will be maintained will be continued throughout the rest of the series okay fine now uh, i am typing subsh and then tej now i am selecting two cells uh, and if i drag what happens nothing will happen those names will repeat sir exactly yes. someone said that same names will be repeated uh, as long as okay because it is not a number so subhash and tej same names will be getting repeated now one more what is this called as uh, j n u a r y january so if i drag january okay let me show first for example s u b a s h if i select this cell and drag what happens what do you see It's the same name will happen same name same will be name. super then if i select this january and what if i drag what happens sir same same month same, same month, month. Will... No, sir. exactly see <laughs> anything any, any change you have understood any change you have observed yes sir now what yes, it is what, what is that why it is not coming january in the case of subhash it is filling the same name but in the case of january why it is not filling january it is filling february march april up to december again if i still continue again january starts and so on so okay i'll take one more thing okay m o n d a y monday okay so what happens if i drag what happens sir days in a week will occur sir week names will come week names will come okay need not to come need not to have the same name but you can also use three characters if i use jan and drag what happens is jan feb okay sorry select that and then drag and you can see jan feb mar h april may okay if i if i drag m o n and then drag then yes uh, i i can see the same so these are called as default list of items which means excel is already having those lists suppose if you type january it will drag all the names of the other months why because by default in the engine in the excel engine those names are already built in so the moment excel sees january and then i drag it fills january february march april and so on so so on so for example if i start from july then what you what i drag what happens what happens july april August, 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 August,
that already the list will be complete continuing okay so likewise now my question my answer my assignment for you i am giving a small assignment i want to fill the names of the students because the same names i will be using repeatedly for next two years whenever i want to create excel sheet like this i have to use the same names of course i can copy and i can paste here but i want to have that names in my excel engine permanently okay can i make it for example s u b a s h i type and then when i click and drag subhash kalyan sriya roja dilip chandu uh, ishita kalyan chakravarti shravani Sri, who are all there today those all the names has to be appear that is my assignment for you and it is possible because we have to include those names in the list in the excel engines list so how to do is an assignment for you a small a brain exercise for you okay so do it and then uh, come uh, come tomorrow is it okay is it okay yes sir yeah. fine yes sir fine that's it sir? okay yeah tell me any doubts you have please ask sir, a small doubt i have sir yes please so now when we are using january next we are getting february <clears throat> okay if i want the all 20 series number like if I use January, I need the next one is also as a January. So how can I do that, sir? Oh, you mean to say that uh, I want like, to have the same name? Yeah, like I want, uh, all, like if I if I'm type if I want twenty, I have series of twenty, okay. and in all the twenty series, I need January, not February, March, April, like that. So okay, how can I do that, sir? Don't drag it. See here, just if I'm dragging, see when. See, the moment you select this, okay, the moment you select this cell and put your uh, right mouse counter here and then drag, you see the same number. What I, what you say is, just don't drag it, copy, control C, copy, and then select and then copy. It's simple. You got it? Okay, okay done. Sir. That, that is another part. So, I thought by dragging, we can do, I thought. So. No, that's what I'm saying. Fill the series. When can you fill the series? When you have that plus symbol. When you have that plus symbol, when you drag, then only it is called as fill the series. You got it? I Otherwise, it. you copy it and paste it. Simple. Okay. I like. Now, I know the copy, copy and dragging series. I thought like without copying directly, we can drag and get. I thought no. when you drag. Uh, uh, okay. I'll. I'll. One more uh, excellent question. <laughs> what you have to do is. Uh, you have to go to that Excel uh, default list, which all, which I said just now, which is already there inbuilt. Go to that place, remove all those names in the list. January, February, March, which are already there, remove. And then come back and then just put uh, Jan. That Jan becomes like any other common English word. It will be not treated as January. You, you hmm. understand what I'm saying? Answer, I get it. I understand. Yes, you B S H. This is a month name or normal name? It's a normal name. It's a normal name. Normal name. So hmm. when you remove that list from the Excel engine, then Jan also becomes January also becomes an English word. You understand? Yes, sir. Uh, as long as that January, February, March, April list is there in the Excel engine. When you drag it, those names will be there. Okay, good, fine. Understood. So Thank with, you. The, with that, uh, I'll proceed further. So I'm just removing this. So small assignment is given. How to create your own list? How to create your own list of 10 names, 12 names, 30 names, 40 names, 50 names. So that in future, uh, as long as your Excel sheet is there in your system for next 10 years, the moment you click, uh, you type a name and drag it, those names will be there. As long as you don't format your computer, Format your system. If the Excel sheet is there with you, it will be there forever. That list will be there forever. Okay, you can create that list on your own. Fine, fine. Next, can I extend this kind of fill the series to date format also? Anyone? Can yes, I? Yes, sir. Okay. Can I? Yes, sir. We can do it. Okay. Now, suppose if I write this date, is it? First January 2024. If I select this and drag, what is the expected result? What is the expected result? Anyone? Select it and drag it. What is the second, third, fourth, fifth, like that? Or you get 2025, 20, 26, 27, 28. Okay. No, sir. Same no, second January 2024. 
Yes. Now you'll get second January, third January, fourth January, fifth January. And still if I drag, still if I drag, now you can see after 31st January, 1st February started. 1st February started. Okay. So again, if I continue, if I go on, continue, 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 you can see after 28th February, uh, 29th, because 2024 is a leap year, we'll have 29 dates after 29th February, 1st March starts. So here also, again, similarly, by default, Excel can read the date values. And once a date is given, it will drag. So it can be like this also, 01 January 2024. Okay, so if I give January also, still it will be taking a second Jan, third Jan, fourth Jan, fifth Jan, and so on. So, no need to select two dates. No need to give two dates. Okay, only one date is enough. Except that if you want to fill the series uh, with the different number series, this thing, then first two numbers are important. Otherwise, dates, one date is whatever the format if you want to use. Okay, you may use 01 slash 01 slash 2024 or 01 hyphen 01 hyphen 2024, 01 January 2024, whatever the format. If you drag it, series will be filled automatically. Okay, so that is what the uh, thing. Okay, so I think I am just boring you. Okay, am I boring you? No, sir. No, fine. No, sir, sir, okay. sir I had a question, sir. Please ask me. That's good. Ask me. Sir, actually, in my laptop, it is showing in American format, sir. You know where the month will be coming first and the date second and I how do I change that, sir? I understood. Uh, I think we are going out of the class, but still I want to teach you, okay? So right-click on the cell, right-click on the cell, and you can see the format cells, format cells. So once you click the format cells, you can see here date. So in the date... These are the different formats you have, different formats. So you can change to uh, uh, American format to Indian format. You can see just give the format here. Okay. So this is the American format, what you are saying. Okay, sir. Now select any of the Indian format like this. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. Jahnavi, I think you are sleeping and watching my class. <laughs> Chalo. This is not the right time to sleep. Okay. Good. Fine. Now, uh, let let me uh, let me just uh, yes, Subhash uh, is in G three and Tej is in H three and uh, uh, faculty is in I three. So this is in G three cell. This is in H three cell. This is in I three cell. Okay. Now, what is the cell? The name of the cell? Where is the Subhash uh, is given in which cell? G3. G3. Ah, this G3 is where this you call this is the place you see that. What is this called as? Anyone uh, already shown the screen? Cell address. Ah, what is the cell address? Where is the, that is called as this place is called as name box. Name you can box. see name box. So the act to cell just now in the just five minutes before 10 minutes before i said that act to cell the cell which is currently got selected is called as act to cell so this is my act to cell that act to cell address the cell reference is seen in the name box this is called as name box name box always shows the address of the act to cell now this is g3 this is h3 this is i3 Okay, now I will add one more. Okay, uh, Kalyan, uh, Te, Kalyan Kumar, and then he's uh, uh, he's uh, uh, registrar. Okay, now I will add one more. Um, Sriya Nainika, and she is a chancellor. Something just okay, fine. Now, just why I have entered is that yesterday we have discussed that the demographics of Excel sheet, how many rows and how many columns are there. How many rows are there? How many rows? Rows. The horizontal sections. 10,48,500. Excellent. Super. Now, can I add one more cell? I want to add a cell between these two names. Or I want to add a, 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 a name between these two. Can I add? 
Yes, the answer is right. Yes. What you can do is select a row, select a row, right click, and then insert. Now, can you see a row, blank row you got selected? Yes or no? Yes. Now, select this, select, select this row, right click, insert. Now, can I insert a column in between G and H, between Subhash and between Tej, or between yes, Tej and between faculty? Can I insert a column? Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. yes. Select that column and then right click, insert. Then you can see, now what I'm trying is that when I add a new row or a new column, will the number of rows or will the number of columns increases or remains the same? Increases, sir. Increases? How many of you say that will be increases, sir? Okay. The answer is no. There will be no change. There will be no change of the number of rows or columns. You may add any number of rows. Ultimately, I will show you. I will show you that the number of rows uh, remains same. Ten lakhs forty-eight thousand five hundred seventy-six. I have added uh, two new rows in between these two. If you see two rows, I have added, but still we can see the same number of rows. So what happens really in the real time? The last two rows will go out of the worksheet and the two new rows will be inserted. You understand? Thereby, the total number of rows remains the same. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You got it now. Similarly, if I add a new column, the same columns will, the number of columns remains the same except that the last column, XFD, 16,384 column will move away out of the worksheet and a new column will be uh, inserted. Now what happens is uh, earlier the column J will now become I and then earlier uh, K column becomes J and L columns becomes K. You understand? The new column which I have added will take the name of the previous column and next column will take the pre name of the previous column. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yes, sir. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fine. So that is what? Okay. So now I can delete. So when I can insert, I can delete. So how can I delete? Right click on the cell which you want to delete and right click and then delete. Okay. Now right click the row and then delete. And then right click, and, uh, sorry, uh, I, I want to delete this, okay? Delete. So now, even if I delete, three rows will not be, uh, what you call, uh, decreased. Still, it will be 10,48,576 rows. So when I delete some rows, what happens? New, additional new rows will be added into the sheet and makes the total number of rows constant. It will not change. Just... Uh, put a thumbs up mark in your uh, chat box if you understood this. You got it? Any doubts you have? I'll, I'll just give 10 seconds time for you to take any, uh, uh, if you have any doubts. Once again, okay, Kanni is asking once again. What I'm trying to say is that the total number of rows and columns remains constant. You can add any number of columns or rows, or you can delete any number of rows and columns, but still the number remains the same. What happens is when you add a new rows, the last rows of the sheet will go out of that uh, and the new rows will be inserted, uh, making the number of rows and the number of columns same. Now you got it, Kanni? Kanni, what is, you are from which place? Yes, sir, I'm from Hyderabad. Uh, what's your full name? Rishi, Kavali Rishi. But uh, why it is called as Kanni? I thought you were Malayali. Okay. Vidur, no. Vidur you are from this place. Telugu. Vidur? Hyderabad, sir. Vidur, Hyderabad. Okay. Sanjana Sinharai. Yes, sir. You are from which state, ma? Chhattisgarh. Chhattisgarh. Okay, fine. Anyhow, good. Chalo, now, let me show you one more. I am going to the last row of uh, the worksheet. What is the last row sheet? 10,48,576 row. And be be below that, 
you can see there are no more rows in Vilar. Okay. Let me type something here. Okay. Siva Sivani Institute of Management. Okay. And it is showing HYDRAB Hyderabad. Okay. So in the last row of your sheet, I have entered some data. Now I am going again to the top. Now I want to insert a new row. So how to do that? How to insert a new row? Anyone? Right click, then insert. Right click, right -click, right -click and insert. And insert. Ah, someone, I want someone to read if it is visible to you. Tell me. Microsoft Excel can't insert new cells because it would push non-empty cells off the end of the worksheet. Uh, so it is saying, if you have something in the last row, and when I'm trying to enter a new row, so as I said just a uh, uh, few minutes before, if I'm inserting a new row, the last row will be going off the sheet. But now what happens is uh, uh, there is something which is data, some data in the last row. If I insert a new row, this would be going off the worksheet. And you who don't, who may know that that may be a very valid, important data of, uh, for you. And that will be going off the sheet. So I cannot insert. So Microsoft Excel is saying, I cannot insert new row because there are some non-empty cells. This is not empty. This is non-empty cells. So I cannot insert a new row. So the rule, golden rule says, as long as your last row of your sheet is empty, then only you can insert. If I have something in my last row, sir, I cannot insert. Similarly, it is applicable to the columns also. You understand the logic? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fine. So that is simple. Uh, one small thing which I want to uh, make you understand. Okay. Fine. So these are all again small things. I want to show you some beauty part of Excel. Okay. In yesterday's discussion, uh, day before yesterday, first class discussion, I said that uh, formulas and functions, formulas and functions. Excel behaves like a calculator. Okay. You no need to have a calculator. Excel opens Excel sheet. And your normal uh, calculator will have only what? Arithmetic operations, plus, minus, division, multiplication. Maybe maximum you will have percentage calculation. Maybe if you are using some uh, engineering calculator, you may have some trigonometrical functions. Okay? But you cannot have statistical functions. You cannot have financial formulas. You cannot have logical formulas. You cannot have engineering formulas. You cannot have... Database formulas, what not. So Excel is a kind of a human calculator. It's a kind of a all-in-one calculator, I would say that. So how to get, use Excel as a calculator? Simple. Okay. Now I want to add these two numbers. I want to add these uh, two numbers. How to add these two numbers? Anyone? Those who are uh, having an idea about Excel sheet. Is equal to, is equal to sum. Is equal to sum something. What is a sum? What is sum? Some SUM. Equals to SUM. I don't, SUM. Know what is, I don't know what is SUM. Sorry. Okay. That's simple. Just kidding. Okay. So for a basic understanding, for a layman who doesn't know any, uh, what you call it, Excel, just use as a calculator. Okay. Use as a calculator. What, what do we do in the calculator? 45 plus 68. Simple. 48 plus 65. Okay. Now, first thing. First thing in MS Excel, remember, this is very, very golden principle. Golden principle. And this will be one of the interview question or companies who are conducting Excel exam will be asking what will be uh, or what is that you have to use when you are using a formula or a function in MS Excel. It's an entry question. So when you want to use this as a calculator, when you want to use a formula, when you want to enter a formula, when you want to enter a function, the very first thing, the golden rule is that uh, you have to start with is equal to. Why is equal to? When we use is equal to, tell me. When we say when we use is equal to, when we want to have some result. Ah, ah, to get answer. Want, exactly. A plus B is equal to how much we say. 30 plus 40 is equal to how much we say. So when I'm saying is equal to means I'm expecting some result. I'm expecting some output. That's why I'm saying is equal to 
is this much. Okay, so that is a simple logic. Is equal to 45 plus 68. Simple. I got the answer, 113. Sir, I do have a question, sir. Yes, please. Sir, uh, we can also write in a FX uh, bar also, no, sir? I didn't get you. What is that? FX bar, which is in the top notch. Not to in the top line, FX. Oh, okay, okay. That is called as formula bar. This is called as yeah. a name box. This is called as a formula bar. Yeah. I will come. See, we, we are just eating farex. Okay. Tomorrow, day after tomorrow, we'll have biryani. Okay. <laughs> okay. Fine. So, this is a simple formula. Okay. So, what I do? Sir, for I got a yeah. small doubt. Yeah. Please, can you, can you uh, tell your name and then ask the question? Sir, my name is Sri Lalita. Sir, uh, yeah. again, for adding the contents, we can select and we can see at the bottom of the page, there will be given some of the numbers right now. Sir. Again, that is it. I'll, I'll, I'll tell that. I'll, yeah, what you are saying is right. Uh, that is called as aggregate functions. I will tell at the end of the session. Is it okay? Okay, sir. Okay, okay fine. fine. Chalo. Uh, okay, fine. Now I want to add two more numbers. So what I do is equal to. So in your sleep also, if I wake, wake you up and then ask her how to write a formula, immediately you have to say is equal to first. Tell is equal to. Later we'll see what formula to use, how to use it. The moment I say use formula, uh, is equal to what? Okay. So is equal to 78 plus 98. How much? It is 176. Simple. It is simple calculator. That's it. Understand? Now, now is equal to is equal to 45 plus 68. What is the answer? 113. And let us assume, let us assume that 45 and 68 are the marks of a student in two subjects. Okay, now what is that? That fellow, that student believes that he has given exam very well and 45 should not be the score. He should get more than 45. Then he has applied for a re-evaluation and the faculty found that it is not 45, it is 65. So she changed, the faculty changed from 45 to 65. So the result should be 65 plus 68 should be 133 not 113. So are you able to see 113 or 133? 113. Are, why? Because the formula says, the formula says it is 45 plus 68, not 65 plus 68. So again, what you have to write is equal to 65 plus 68, then 133. But for how many times I have to do it? I cannot do it for every time, no. Now what you have to do is, is equal to uh, now tell me before I write again. Now tell me what is 65 the cell address? E3. Uh, e3. What is what is 68? E4. Uh, E4. Uh, now what I do is is equal to I don't use 65, but I I use E3. See, the moment I type the cell at name E3, the box got selected, the cell got selected. Plus what is 68? E4. Now you can see E4 yes. got selected. E3 plus E4. What is E3? 65 only. What is E4? 68. But I am not using the values, but I am using the cell addresses instead of values. Now what is that beauty is? I'll show you. So E3 plus E4 is not E7. Okay. It is 133. It is 133. Now, now, I will use the same case. The student has shown to the faculty saying that uh, it is not 65 marks. I have to get 72 marks. Now the faculty changes 65 to 72. Even the score also changes to 140. Why? Because we have not taken 72 or 65 value. We have taken the cell address. So whatever the value may be in that cell, that cell value will be taken. The cell address will be taken. A cell address will take the value and that value will be taken, uh, added. So always remember, this is again second golden principle. Don't use values. Always. I'm using the word always. As long as you are staying in Excel, you are working in Excel. Always use cell references, cell addresses. 65, 78, 62. Hey, someone is writing on my screen, man. Hari Kalyan, what is that you are doing? Hari Kalyan. Okay. 
fine. Okay. So, uh, can can Harikayan can you erase the screen? Oh, fine. Anyhow, no issues. Okay. Now, as I said, use always the cell references. Use always cell references. See, for example, um, you are living in a house. You are living in a house. Okay. So today, I am staying in that house. After five years or two years or three years, I will have my own house. I will construct my own house and I will shift. Now someone will come into this house and stay. Value has changed, but address has not changed. Do you accept with my statement or not? Yes, sir. No? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. So what we are what what is permanent? What is permanent? Address is oh, the permanent. Uh, address is permanent, not the value. Today's uh, some value will be there. Tomorrow some value will be there. Today I am staying. Tomorrow someone will be staying. But address remains same. That's why I always use addresses. You understand now? So that is now. So that is the same thing. Okay. Now, now what I am saying is okay. Now let me take some values. Forty-five, one fifty-six. Okay. Ah, Venkata Kishore raised a hand. Yeah, please, Venkata Kishore, tell me. So what if we have like like twenty rows? First, suppose we have like twenty rows. Sir. So what is the like formula to be used there? Or exactly. do we have to keep on typing E2? I mean, E3, <laughs> that, that, E4 that, and that, all that, that, is, that is what I'm telling. That's what I'm coming to that. Okay. So now, okay. so okay. just if you see 45 and 56, I have dragged some values. Okay. So if you see, I have used the fill series. 45 and 56, uh, the difference is 11. So same number is repeated. Now I want to add these numbers, man. Simple. Just now Venkata Kalyana has uh, 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 as asked the question. So suppose if I have 20 values, uh, should I use uh, uh, B3 plus B4 plus B5 plus B6, so on, so on, so Is it that? No. That's Again, Excel is not helping me. If that's the case, then what is the smartness of Excel? So smart uh, Excel is more smart. Excel gives... Uh, more sophisticated uh, uh, results, more sophisticated kind of actions and uh, options we have. Now, what I do is, is equal to normally as usual. Now, what you are trying to do, all these numbers you want to add. Am I right? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Okay. Sir. Adding means what? Adding means what? Is equal to. Ah, no, no. Is equal to is a formula. Is equal to is same for anything you all, you use. Not only yes. someone. Huh? Some. Less. Ah, some. Uh, in mathematics, yeah. we say some of the numbers. Am I right or not? Of course, we have yeah. many other names. Total of the numbers, sum of the numbers, addition of the numbers, we'll say. But generally, SUM, sum of the numbers is what we say. So, as I said in the uh, yesterday's discussion, the first day's discussion, Excel is having some inbuilt functions. Inbuilt functions. So what is a function? What is a formula? What is a function? What is a formula? Fine. Let me just give me what is the difference between function and formula. Formula is, for example, 85 and I have uh, 42. Is equal to 85 or I can say G2 or instead of typing G2, select the cell G2 plus and select, select this G with mouse. Uh, click on that cell. So G2 plus G3 is 127, is 127, okay? So this is the formula I have used. This is the formula I have used. So when I am using the formula, sorry, when I am uh, uh, typing the formula, uh, typing the variables and operations, it is called as a formula. When the user is giving everything that is required for calculation, is called as a formula. But if I am using something which is already there in the uh, uh, Excel sheet, then that is called as a function. Okay. Like, for example, I want to add these numbers. So what, what's the formula? Formula is, is equal to B3 plus B4 plus B5 plus B6 plus B7 plus B8 and so on, so on, so on. Uh, once I press enter, it will give the value. 
So I have taken so only B3 plus B4 plus 5, 6, 7, 8. So I have taken only these numbers. So the answer is 435. Okay, so for, if I have to add all those numbers, I have to go on B8 plus B9 plus 1, which I don't want. So if I do on my own, is called as a formula. But something which I use, which is already there in the Excel sheet or Excel workbook, is called as a function. What is a function? A function is inbuilt, inbuilt formula, which is already there. So what I do is equal to, there is a function called as SUM sum. Okay? There's a function called as SUM sum. Uh, now, not only sum, Excel is having many functions with a similar name, SUM sum, SUM IF sum if, SUM IFS sum ifs, SUM product sum product. You can see all these names where the letters SUM are there. Among all those functions, we are using a function called as SUM. Now, the moment SUM is there, Excel is so advanced, Excel is so smart. It will make your life so easy that, uh, now can you read this, what it is showing me? Can you read what it is saying? Someone? I want someone to read exactly what it is showing. Add all the numbers, the numbers in a range of cells. Ah, uh, it adds. So what the sum function will do? Add. Uh, it adds. So when I am using a function, sum, I will write is equal to sum, open the bracket. This is what I call as syntax. What is syntax? The predefined rules. For example, if I am going, if I am walking, I have to walk in the left side of the road. Okay? If I am going in, if I am turning right, I have to switch on my blinker. So there are some rules, some predefined rules which are already laid, which are already set, which we have to follow. So when I am using a function, which is already there in the for, uh, Excel, first thing is, is equal to, and we have to write the function name. And here in this case, the function name is SUM sum because I want to add all those numbers and open the bracket. Now again, as I said, Excel is so smart. So what the, the moment I open the, uh, open the bracket, can anyone tell me what you see on the screen? Number uh, one. Uh, number one. What is my number one here? Number 85. One. No, e someone is saying 45. 45. Never. E no, no, no. Don't never. Say never. Uh, don't say e values. Say always. Cell number. Cell addresses. Cell uh, what is that? B? B3. 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 See, the moment I typed B3, uh -huh. the cell got at highlighted. Now what next? See the syntax. Plus what it is showing you? No, 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 no. See the syntax. What it is showing you? Comma. Ah, comma. comma. What is number two? Fifty. Four. Still, someone is saying fifty-six. No, it is before. 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 What next? What next? B five. Comma. Comma. B five. Comma. B five. Comma. B six. Comma. B seven. Comma. B eight. Comma. B nine. Comma. B ten. Comma. B eleven. Comma. B twelve. Comma. Wait. 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 B thirteen. Comma. B fourteen. Can you see the moment I am typing the addresses? Uh, each cell is getting highlighted. Uh, each it is showing with different different colors. B sixteen. B seventeen. Comma. Finally, B eighteen. And finally, B19. Now, what it is showing now? It will uh, show the Continue. total number. And finally, you have to close the, you have to bracket. Close the bracket. You have it opened is the total amount. Uh, you have opened the bracket. You have, you have to close the bracket. In between, you are giving number one, comma, number two. What are all the numbers you want to give? Just give it. Now enter. So, the sum of all that numbers is 2261. See, Excel has given the answer. But still... <laughs> I believe that typing that B3 comma B4 comma B5 comma B6 comma is tedious, time taking, time consuming, and it is not possible to add 100 numbers if I want to add. So what I do is I have one more. I have one more way to do that. Is, equal to, is equal to SUM sum, open the bracket. Open the bracket. Okay. Select all. Uh, now what I am doing is, what is the first number? What is the first number? B3. 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 
and I am not using comma. I am using colon. You know what is colon? Yes. Colon yes. means two dots. You understand two dots? Yeah. Yes. And what is my last number? Two twenty number nineteen. B nineteen. Ah, B nineteen. B nineteen. Now you see the entire got selected. Simple. B3 to B19. Select that. 2261. You got it now? Simple. Yes, sir. You got, got it? it uh, got it, sir. So what, you do, what I am doing, I have given the first cell, the last cell, two numbers separated column. with, uh, not with comma, but column. <laughs> that column is called as range. Now, if how many of you remember this definition of is equal to SUM sum? What it says? What it says? Adds all the number in a range. Adds ah. all the number in a range of cells. Ah, adds all the numbers in a range. What is a range? The first number to last number is for the entire thing is what we call as a range. Now you got it now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No? Yes, sir. Ah, good. Or yes, already someone said, someone already said that, sir, I don't want to write that also, sir. I am too lazy. I am too lethargic. Simple is equal to SUM sum, open the bracket, just drag, select the cell, drag till this number. That's it. Still, you can see B3 to B19. Can you see that now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, close the bracket and then press enter. Still, you get the same number. Got it or not? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, this is the power of Excel. You can add any number of values. Okay. Uh, and if they all these numbers are in a continuous continuous cells, continuous cells, okay? Now, for example, if my numbers are in the random cells, 56, okay, and uh, the number is here, 48, and some number is here, uh, 89. I want to add all these numbers, man. What you will do? Tell me. Equals to sum. Equal to sum, D3. Uh, is equal to sum. D3 is no, no, no. Tell it properly. Open the bracket. Open the bracket. B3. B3. Comma E11. Uh, okay. Or you can select the cell here also. Okay. Yes. Comma. Comma. 56. Comma. Or this one. You understand that? So yes, we don't have any other option other than giving the cell numbers because they are not in a, in a continuous range. You understand? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. No press enter you will get that number. You got it? Yes, sir. Fine. I will tell one more. Okay. So, uh, 56 and uh, 45, 89, uh, 24 and 71. So, I want to add these two numbers. Okay. Is equal to SUM sum. sum open open the, bracket, the bracket. Drag open all the, these numbers. The close the bracket. Got it. So, some of these numbers is 285. <laughs> now, for example, if I delete a number 45, what happens? Tell me anyone. From the total, change. Change. The total changes. Uh, you got it now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, what is 240? Sum of four numbers. Sum of four numbers. Four numbers, four numbers or five numbers? Four. 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 Five no, numbers. Four, four. Uh, four. Five numbers. No, no, listen. B3, B4, B5, B6, B7. How many are there? Five. 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 What is the address? What is the formula? B3 to? B7. B3, B4, B5, B6, B7. 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 Total 5. But what is this value? Empty. Zero. Empty zero. is 0. zero. Uh, in a formula, in a formula, if a cell is not having any value, it is treated as 0. You got it now? Yes. So 56 plus? 89, 89, 0, 56, 56 plus, 50, 56 plus, plus 0, 0, plus 89, plus 24, plus 71. Now, what I do is, I give some value 78. What happens? Value changes. Increase. Uh, why? We are using cell references, not values. That's why I always say, always use cell references. Values are not important. Cell addresses are important. You got me now? Sir. Yes, sir. Got it. Now. Yes, sir. Now. Okay. So let me add some more values. Uh, some more values. Fine. Now, I think you all know uh, the how to add numbers. I will give one more, one more uh, way of adding these numbers. Okay. 
Is equal to sum. Can, can you see here auto sum? My yes, mouse sir. is my mouse is hovering. Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay. Just select the cell where you want to get the output. Select the cell where you want to get the output auto and click this auto sum. Automatically, Excel will take all the numbers and press enter. You get the number. You got it now? Yes, sir. Yes. What is sigma stands for? Do you remember? Sigma. What is what is sigma stands for? Summation of. Do you remember? Sigma Summation. of. Summation of. Summation, Summation means sum of all the numbers. Got it? Yes, sir. See, these are very important in Excel. If you very if you are very strong in the fundamentals or basics of Excel, the coming sessions will be very easy for you. You got it? Yes. Fine. Uh, now I I I I have found the sum. I want to find the average. How to find average? There is a formula for it. No, no. Generally, what is average? Sum of observation by number of observation. Exactly. Sum of all the numbers divided by total number of numbers. Am I right? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, so, is equal to sum, SUM sum of all these numbers and closed divided by total number of numbers are how many? 10. Am I right or not? Uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so divide by 10. So this is what is the average of this number, 62.3. Okay. But how many operations I did tell me? Anyone? How many operations did I did? Two operations. One is addition. The second one is division. Am I right or not? Sum divided by 10. So instead of that, again, Excel is having a function, inbuilt function. Okay, so the inbuilt function is what is called as is equal to A V E R A G E average. I want someone to read exactly what is there on the screen. What is there on the screen? Returns the average. Returns the average arithmetic mean of its arguments, which can be number of names. Arrange or reference the contain numbers. Uh, that contain yes. numbers. So, uh, so what is that? It returns the average, which is also called as arithmetic mean. Arithmetic. So open, uh, open the bracket, number one, comma, number two, comma, number three. I think no, we don't go to the best, the old method. What's the new method? Drag. Drag. And then close. And then enter. 62.3. You got it now? Same average? <laughs> Uh, now change 24 to 42. Will the average changes? Yes, sir. Yes, it is not 62.2, it is 64.1. Am I right? Yes. Yes, sir. Suppose if I if I remove this number 89, what happens, sir? The average will change. Change because the number becomes zero. Zero. Okay. And so likewise, average. likewise, you will get it. Fine. So yes, that is average. Uh, now in the very beginning, someone has identified. Someone has identified. You no need to use any function. Just select these numbers. Select these numbers. And now, if you see my mouse pointer here in the bottom, can you see? Can you see my mouse yes, pointer? Yeah. What it yes, says? Sir. What it says? Count ten minutes. So. Excel has given you five values. What are the five values? Average yes. value. Count means what? What is count? Counting the numbers. Total number of numbers you have. Total number of numbers are? 10. Ten. Max. What is max means? The highest number. <laughs> Among those numbers, the highest number is? 95. Uh, min. What is min? Means minimum, minimum number. The minimum number among those 10 is? 35 and the last one is sum sum of all those numbers is 641 okay so the okay so let me give some other example 74 52 sir, these will be automatically displayed sir on the screen down yes exactly so then we can do division and subtraction also or one multiplication one, also one, one minute i am coming to you one minute i am coming to you 
ha huh. so these are the numbers these are the numbers now what is the total sum of the numbers no need to write is equal to sum select all these numbers what do you see here what is sum sum is 891 891 what is the average 68.53 what is the total number of numbers we get the no sir one minute. What is the total number of numbers? Total 13. number of uh, 13. 13. What is the maximum, highest number? 105. What is the lowest 5. number? 14. 14. Simple, we got it. These five functions are called as aggregate functions. That's why Excel will show you only these five. We may have hundreds of functions. Correlation, covariance, as I said yesterday, there are many. But these five functions are called as aggregate functions. And those functions, those values will be seen or will be shown in the bottom of the Excel sheet. Uh, now, uh, any, anyone, uh, someone is asking doubts, tell me, please. Yes, sir. Yeah, tell it's me. like that. Uh, we can also we can also do DV, uh, multiplication or subtraction also. You can find anything. But what I'm trying to say is that these five functions, what are those five functions? Sum. Average, maximum, minimum, count. These five are called aggregate functions. Aggregate functions and Excel by default will show you those functions values. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. If you want to find product multiplication, what do you do? You have to do it manually. So how you do that manually is equal to, uh, tell me. Multiply H, H, H4 into H5. Am I right or not? Okay. So 74 into 52 is equal to 3848. You got it? Yes. Sir. But that is not uh, an aggregate function. Product is not a. Okay. Uh, I want to use a function name instead of uh, uh, H3 into H4 or H4 into H5. I want to use a function name. So what's the function name is equal to? Can anyone tell me what's the function name? Multiply. Can I use product. is equal to M U L T I P L Y? Product. Uh, it is not multiply. It is P R O D U C T product. So what's the function says? Multiply, multiply all the numbers. Number given as a uh, open the bracket and I want to multiply first three values H4, H5, and H6. Enter it. You get the result. You got it now? Yes. But when I select these numbers, are you able to see the product function here? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes. Are you able to see product no, function? No, no, no. no, no, because, no. because that function is not an aggregate function. Only these five are aggregate functions. You understand? Sorry, yes, sir. yes, sir. No. Yes, sir. So these are what we call as functions. So we can use many number of functions. We have almost 300 plus functions are there. 300 plus functions. But anyhow, we'll discuss all those functions in the regular classes. But what I'm trying to show you is that Excel can be used as a calculator. Excel can be used as a, as a what you call uh, uh, something which you can it gives any kind of results or outputs without much uh, knowing without much understanding without much remembering the formulas you no need to for remember the formulas just to use excel huh. now someone can ask me sir how to remember sum some pro duct product ave rag that's something that someone has to remember at least uh, uh, I say that at least 40 to 50 formulas functions uh, which are used very regularly, frequently, uh, you can remember. If still you believe that, sir, I can't remember those functions also, then no, there's no other way. There's no other way other than you have to. Uh, there's one thing which you can always use, okay? Type F1. Type F1, okay? Help will be open. Help. F1. So F1, okay, F1. If you type F1, a help will be opened. So there you type some uh, your query. How to multiply multiply numbers? How to multiply numbers? Uh, type enter. Okay, type enter. Ah. So it is giving some functions here. 
See, multiply and divide numbers in Excel. So once you click that, it will be giving the numbers. Okay, it will be giving the formula. See here, it is showing you the formula or how to multiply those numbers, something like that. You understand? Formula is equal to A2 into A3. So it is giving, or you can say, is equal to product of A2, A7. So that definitely you can use, but uh, for everything you cannot go for help. Something you have to remember, product, sum, max, min, count, average, something, something. Anyhow, we'll practice that in the later case. But today's session, what we are trying to understand is Excel can be used to get the result, get the output of what is that you are expecting. Let it be a financial formula. Let it be a statistical formula. Let it be what you call uh, uh, a logical formula, a database formula, trigonometrical formula, mathematical formula. It could be anything. Simple. I want to find LCM, man. In childhood days, you must have calculated LCMs. Yes or no? Uh, yes. Is equal to LCM. Open the bracket. LCM of 24, comma 48, comma 14, comma 56. I want to find the LCM of these two, four numbers. Simple. You got 336. Simple. See, in just one tenth, in just fraction of second, it has given the LCM of two numbers. Is equal to GCD. You know what is GCD? Greatest common factor. Uh, HCF. Uh, open the bracket, 24, comma, same, 48, comma, 64. Close the bracket, and the answer is 8. See? Super. You just use the fun function name. If you don't know the formula. Sorry? If you don't know the formula, how we can know, sir? Use the function. That's what I'm saying. If you don't know how to use the formula, use the function. Excel is already having the functions. HCM, GCD, LCM, something like that. Use it. Sir. Got it? Yes, okay. sir. You, your question is, sir, how I would know that the function name LCM is there or not? Is that, is that what you are asking? No, I know these two formulas, sir. I am asking about the other formulas that we don't know. The, which we, the one like, which we don't know. Like what do you want to calculate? Tell me. Mm. Tell me. Acha, in my last class, in my first class, do you remember? We have discussed about correlation. Co uh, yes, sir. No. Yes, sir. Uh, okay. Now let us take uh, some numbers. Okay. 24, 28, 46, uh, 48, and 52. And then I have, I am taking some more values 14, uh, 18, 19, and 21, 26. Okay. I want to find the correlation of these two uh, values. This is X and uh, this is Y. This is X and this is Y. Okay. So these are two variables x variable and y variable and what is correlation correlation says the relationship between two variables now is equal to c o r r see here the moment i type c o r r it is telling that ah, there is a function called as correlation c o r r e l okay, so okay. Co correlation open the bracket and it is asking what is the first what it is asking array 1 comma array 2 array is the entire value okay comma and these entire values. This is called as an array. And then close the value, enter. Uh, the relationship between these two variables is 0 0.86, which means positively correlation. If one value is increasing, the other value is also mm -hmm. increasing. By what percentage it is increasing? 0 0.86 percentage it is increasing. See? So you yes, no sir. need to know the formula. Just use the use your left brain. Okay. Okay, and I want to find covariance is equal to C O V A. Uh, see here, see here, we got a function called as covariance. Okay, C O V A R. Open the bracket, uh, just give this and comma, use this. Okay, array one, array two, close the bracket, press enter 38.64. What is 38.64? Covariance. Covariance of those two variables, x and y. Okay. For, for example, standard deviation is equal to STD. Uh, see here, there's a function called a standard deviation, STDEV. Okay. So use that function standard deviation and just write all these numbers, comma, and uh, close, select all these numbers, close the bracket, you got it. See? So you no need to formula. For example, if I have to calculate the standard deviation of the formula, 
uh, in statistics, there's a big formula, root of x1 minus x2 whole square divided by f into n. No need to remember the formula. Just use is equal to STDV, is equal to COR, is equal to COVAR covariance. Excel is just like a, uh, uh, what you call, uh, uh, miracles for you. Excel will show you miracles. Okay, so that is what is Excel can do. Excel has having inbuilt formulas, which are called as functions. Anyhow, we'll go in detail about that. Now, tell me till now, any doubts you have? I don't want to go advanced, okay. but just I'm showing you what Excel can do for you. Yes, any doubts you have? Any doubts you have? Yes or no? No, sir. No, no. sir. No, sir. Fine. Achha. Now, uh, I just want to show some more uh, cells, some more cells. I want to show you some more cells. Um, I mean, some more functions, what Excel can do for you, okay? So just uh, now let me show you. Ah. Oh, just you have functions. Okay. Special steps. Yeah. Is my screen visible for you now? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Now, uh, I have a small table, product ID, the product name, quantity, price of each uh, one, uh, one unit, whether it is stock or out of stock, and where exactly it has come from, local or imported. You understand the table, what the table says about? Yes, yes or no? Yes. yes. Now, what is the product name? Uh, of the ID 101? Screws. Sorry? Screws. Screws. What Screws. is uh, 120? Tell me. Now tell me. 120. <laughs> Fine. Now, what I will do is, I will write a small formula. I don't explain that formula, but I'm just showing what Excel can do for you. Is equal to, just I'm writing a function we look up which says, this is my entire uh, table, comma. Okay, lookup value is this one. Column index is two. That's it, open the bracket. Okay, one, one minute. Uh, is equal to V lookup, open the bracket. Lookup value is this one, comma. Lookup value is uh, is this one, comma. Index is two. We'll close the bracket. Fine. Now, one zero one. What is the product name of one uh, one zero one? Screw. One one ten. Bottle. Ah, no Bottle. need to no need to look no need to look into the table. Just enter the ID number one one six. It will tell you what is the product name. Nuts. Nuts. Uh, I, I give 106. It will tell it is mobiles. See right. how Excel is giving that. Now I want to know the quantity. I will write same well, one more function. Lookup value is equal to lookup this one and then comma. And then what I say is this is my entire table and then comma three. Close the bracket. See. What is quantity of 106? 106. Uh, which means total 102 is available. Now, what is 104? 43. It is tables uh, and 43 yeah. is available. What is 117? 117 is bolts and 83 are left over. 83. Now, I want to find the price also. Is equal to V lookup, open the bracket, and then I want to look this value, comma, and then the entire table from this entire table I want to search, comma, and then the column index is uh, one, 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh. See, now again, what is 102? It is winches, 56 mm -hmm. quantities available, and the price is each uh, is 50. See, Excel can do anything. Now, what I do is uh, I will try to hide these values. Hide, just I'm hiding them. Now, tell me what is 108? Now, tell me 108. What is the quantity? How much quantity is available? What is the price? Uh, now, 108 is. Bolts, Buttons. 80, Bolts not uh, 83 is quantities there, in, and then price is 8 rupees. Each. Eight. See, now what is one zero one one ten? 
110 is bottles. 67 bottles are available. And each price is, each bottle is 10 rupees. So you can just use a formula. You can use a formula and you can get anything from that. You no need to worry. Use a formula, it will give it. Anyhow, I will teach the formula when it is used, how it is used, why we should use that later part. Just I am showing you what I what we can do with the formulas. Is it okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. Uh, I will show you one more. I will show one more. Okay, fine. Uh, uh, this is something which I want to show you. Uh, the one of the beauty, one of the beauty I want to show. Chalo. Now, uh, I want you to see this table. I want to see this table. Okay. This table. Uh, uh, so, this table speaks about. Speaks about. Anyone? Name of the employee. Whether he is married or not. From which country he is. What is his gender, what male or female? Mean? What is the age? What is the salary? And how many portfolios he worked on? How many cases he's worked on? And how many successful cases he got it? Okay, just I will remove this uh, function. Okay. You, you, you got a rough idea what this table speaks about? Yes, sir. Now from seeing this table, my first, my first question is, how many employees are there from UK region? Tell me. UK, one, two, three. Four, five, six, Someone seven, is already eight. counting. Suppose <laughs> if suppose if we have yes. two thousand people, two thousand employees, sir, is it literally possible? No, no sir. sir. No. Go to third question. Total number of employees in the US region and having worked on two portfolios. He should be there from US. He should be from US and has worked on more than two portfolios. Or two portfolios. One again. Uh, someone is already, already counting. Okay, one more question. I want to find how many females are there who are married and who are from UK and US. See, I'm adding one more dimension. I'm adding dimension every time I'm adding one, one more dimension. I want to find how many females are there, how many married females are there, how many married females are there from UK and how and many married females are there from US. And their total salaries also required. And one Sorry, more control, less we can count, control plus F. Sorry? Control plus F. Control plus sir. F F. F. What is it? What? No, it will not give you the answer. Control. Okay. <laughs> Someone is saying control F. What do you do? Tell me. Control F is to find. Tell me what you will do. Yeah, we should write portfolio work it on U but, uh, UK. What, what you will write? UK or you'll write US or uh, what you'll write? Married or what? Uh, for example, control F. Okay, I will write UK. What happens? Okay. Find next. Uh, what it says? What it says? Ah, UK is here. UK is here. UK is here. It finds UK. But my question is, how many are there from UK? How many are there from UK? And out of that, how many? How many are female? And out of that female, how many are married? See, how many? Now, what what uh, uh, what you call uh, Excel can do, I will show you. Okay, I am not teaching you anything, but I will show you what Excel can do. Go to insert, go to pivot table, and then uh, one minute, one minute. Uh, go to insert, go to pivot table, and I want to find in the same existing worksheet. Click on that, and then click. Okay, that's it. Okay, fine. Now, what is the first question? What is the first question? Well, identify the total number of employees in region UK. Okay. How many employees are there in the region UK? Okay. So what I do is uh, I'll just try to uh, get country. the country, country. Okay. country, and then put it here. And then uh, I put the same country in this. Uh, now tell me how many are there? 25. Total 25 from UK? 13. USA? 13. 12. We didn't count. Excel only did it. First question answer, you got it? Yes, sir. Yes. Fine. Now, what is the second question? Identify, identify, the, identify the total number of employees in region US having worked on two portfolios. Having worked on two portfolios. Okay. Now we'll drag country. 
and portfolios worked on. Uh, okay. Now I will type. Uh, okay. Let me change. I will not explain you, but I'll just doing something. On. Okay. One minute. One minute. Uh, uh, tell me. What is the question? How question many employees US are in US region? In US region having US worked region, on two having worked on two portfolios. Ha. In USA, eight. how many people are there who work on two portfolios? Eight. 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 See, we got eight. How many are from there in US work on three portfolios? Three. 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 How three. many are there from UK who have worked on 14, four portfolios? Sixteen. Sixteen. Sixteen, sixteen. See, we got it now. Yes, yes or no? Fine. Now we got the answer. Now, what's the what's the third question? Identify the number of married females married. residing okay. in the UK and the US, US and calculate their. Okay, their I, I'll do one thing. So what I'm trying to do is, uh, I bring the country here, I bring mm -hmm. the gender here, and I bring the. Uh, gender Seven. count here uh, now tell me yeah. how many are fe how many are female from uk female uh, six. six six male Seven. 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 how many female are in usa Seven. Seven. and uh, male five, five. 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 Total, total is 13 plus 12 oh. 25. 25 okay now what is that i will i will bring married okay so i'll put it married okay. here and then uh, what the question says? Married females. Married. Okay. So I'll just go for only married. Uh, now tell me. Now tell me how many are married females? Twelve. Five. Five from USA. Five. Got it? Sir. So Prime from see here what I am doing. So forget about what I am doing. So what exactly what I am doing? <laughs> I am not doing just, I am just dragging, dragging, dragging. Excel is doing everything on its own. So that is what I called as analysis. In the very first day, in my Excel introduction, I have, I have shown you, Excel can be used as an analysis tool. Did I or not? Do you remember or not? Yes. yes. Is this called as analysis or not? Yes. Yes, this is analysis. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Uh, I am doing some analysis. Sir. Total 12 people are there who are married and uh, uh, out of 25, 12 people are married and out of 25, uh, 13 are uh, single. Total 25. See, out of 13 single married, 8 are from USA uh, so, and uh, 5 are from, uh, sorry, um, 7 are from U uh, UK and 6 are from USA. Out of the 13, 8 are females, 5 are males. See what kind of analysis I am doing. So this is what uh, an Excel can do for you. You understand? Okay. Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. Uh, I think we are going too deep into the Excel, which uh, I don't want. But today, what is the, my agenda is that what are functions, what are formulas, and how we can use those formulas and functions which are inbuilt in the Excel and can do analysis, can do calculations, and can do anything. Is it okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You have yes, any sir. doubts? You have any doubts? No, no, sir. No, sir. Fine. So, can yeah. we sh can we conclude the session for today? Yes, sir. Can you yes, answer the question, yeah. sir? Ha, huh. Adada, tell me. Ah, Anirban. Any questions you have, sir? The the last question which we have done the marriage status. Huh. There's a, a leftover question, sir. Like there is a calculation of uh, salaries also. We will so, show it, Massey. So I, the salaries I, would be in the rows or uh, where, sir? So that I want to. You don't. Who is asking this question? Chaitanya, sir. Chaitanya, don't worry. We will discuss in detail in the regular classes. But today, the concept is what Excel can do for you. <laughs> okay. I get it. Sir. I understood. I understood. <laughs> don't worry about how much salary together. <laughs> okay. Let no, it whatever the whatever it is. <laughs> I get it, sir. Like there is a question incomplete. The question huh? was incomplete. So See, that's the reason it's incomplete. I got. I will show you anyhow. I will show you. Okay. Don't worry. Okay. Done, so sir. Excel can just with a click of the button, you can do anything. It can show you anything. Okay. Done, sir. Just yes. okay, fine. So tomorrow will be more interesting. Uh, I will show you how we can create visuals, images, charts, graphs, maps. Okay. 
Thank you. So Thank you. that's for for today from my side. And any doubts, just you can write on a list of paper tomorrow before I start my regular session. First five minutes, I'll take the doubts. If no, I'll start my session tomorrow. Is it okay? Yes. Yes. Sir. Okay. Sir. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank God bless you. Good night. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you, sir. 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 So we are we are meeting tomorrow. Yes, sir. Sure, sir. Chill. Fine then. Anil sir, we are done sir. Thank you so much.